us in the seasons of life. Using the seasons experienced in the U.S. Fall, winter, spring, and summer. Just as these four seasons happen annually, you will go through each of them several times throughout your life. In your marriage, in your career, in the very life that you live. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, To everything there is a season, a time for every purpose under heaven. So let us look at the seasons of life. Number one, fall. In the fall, also known as autumn, the leaves begin to fall. There is a chill in the air in preparation for winter. There is a lot of uncertainty in this season. Things are not quite working out as you would like. You are dealing with rejection and anxiety will come over you. Just as the leaves detach from the trees in the fall, there will be some necessary detachment in your life. You will not like it because you have been used to these attachments. Things will literally seem to be falling all around you. This is the season of fall. It is a season and you must learn to rise above it. Winter. Winter is the coldest season on earth. Everything dies in winter. You'll see some certain animals migrate to a warmer climate. You'll see some certain animals hibernate by going to sleep throughout the winter. It is such a harsh season that many things on the earth cannot face it. It will be a very difficult and harsh season in your life. Many times we ask God for a new beginning, but we don't understand that new beginnings require death. To even become a child of God, you must put to death your old way of life. Winter may not be nice, but it is necessary to enter into the new that God has for you. Some things need to be totally removed from your life to enter into the new. You may not like winter and you will fight it, but to accelerate yourself out of this season, you must put your hope in God and trust God's plan for your life. Spring is right around the corner, even if you can't see it. Humans still function in winter. They get the right clothes and gear for it. So you must be the same way. You must survive in the winter season of your life. Remain optimistic. Things die in winter, but they bloom again in the spring. Don't let your troubles weigh you down. Stay strong in faith and trust God. Spring. Ah, spring. <laughs> the time for new beginnings. Things begin to come alive again. There is excitement. There is joy. You can see the sun rise again and you believe that change has truly come to your life. There is a slight chill in the air as things begin to bloom. You will be optimistic and grateful for coming out of winter. That slight chill is a reminder to be cautious and wise in this season. As new things are sprouting in your life, build realistically and solidly on God's word. Don't get carried away by summer where everything is on a roll because spring is preparing you for summer. In last week's video, I told you that you will smile again. Perhaps in the winter season of your life, you lost your spouse. In the spring season of your life is the promise of a new relationship. You cannot, however, throw caution to the wind. You must seek God's guidance and honor him with the courtship that he has given to you. Summer, this is the season where everything is going well. You've worked through pending issues, you've worked so hard, and now you have come out stronger and you are reaping the benefits. For instance, you get married again and start your new marriage with so much joy. Spring has built the anticipation 
with your courtship. Now this is the culmination of all that you have anticipated. Concerning your career, after all these years in school, you've hit the big time with a six-figure salary and all the perks that come with it. Money problems are now a thing of the past. Be smart in this season. Just as there were seven years of plenty in Egypt, seven years of lack were right behind the seven years of plenty. It was because of Joseph's wisdom during the seven years of plenty and all his hard work and all his preparation that Egypt was able to survive the famine that came after and Egypt was even able to assist other nations of the world. During the summer season, make sure that you are doing great to your roots, not just superficially. Summer has the ability to make things look good on the surface. When things get too hot in the summer, we turn on the air conditioning to regulate the heat, right? We jump into the pool to regulate the heat, right? Things can get too hot, so you will need wisdom to manage this season. Troubles are certain in this life. They can either rip you apart or make you stronger. The fall and winter seasons can influence you to have a negative attitude. You must be mindful of this and have an attitude check. Stay positive no matter what. The spring and summer seasons can cause you to relax overly because things are going so well. Be alert and retain a diligent work ethic. Use these seasons to prepare for fall and winter because they will certainly come again. In life, these seasons will not always be in order. You can go from fall to spring based on your attitude and how you handle things. If you don't handle the fall season positively, you can find yourself heading straight into winter which will be an amplified version of all that you have been through in the fall. Your positive attitude and your faith in God makes all the difference. No season lasts forever as we are taught in the book of Ecclesiastes. Do you see that the constant through every season is God's word and holding on to it? There are highs and lows in this thing called life. Holding on to God makes all the difference. No season lasts forever. Make the most of the good times. Learn from the bad times. Keep your faith in God and he will see you through. So what season of life are you in? Do you know? Feel free to drop it in a comment below. Thank you for watching. If this video has been a blessing to you, hit the like button, stay subscribed, and share. God loves you, and I love you. God bless you.